killed tonight. This has become a reality for 18 different families who lost everything they have. Tonight, a long line of eager residents. It's very difficult not knowing if we have a house or not. But as the sun set, Santa Clarita residents got their answer, and the news for some wasn't good. I was so amazing. The fire coming so fast. John Kim, his wife and daughter, came home to mountains of ash and piles of rubble. Hard to believe this was once their five bedroom house off of Iron Canyon Road. But the biggest loss were their family photos from Korea. Only one, like uh, my mom, my daddy, all those pictures, my mother in law and family. Yeah. A few miles away, Pat and Kathy McCreary can hardly recognize their living room of 18 years. They're grabbing the trinkets because that's what's left. These are things that my son made when he was, old, you know, probably 10. Further down Sand Canyon Road, more destroyed homes. But these three belong to U.S. Forest Service firefighters who were fighting the sand fire themselves when they lost everything. Past few days I haven't slept, I haven't eaten. It's devastating and it's shocking. For others, the news was better. Really thankful for them. Raleigh County Fire and everybody they brought in. But Mike Erb and his son are looking for unburnt fuel should the winds pick up. Nature's pretty crazy. You know, I mean, this all got nuked. This is like moonscape through here. And it's a devastating sight when it's your house. But John Kim says he'll stay strong. Don't worry. This guy will guide you. Now you'll see a lot of these homes are still smoldering even tonight. What you won't see is firefighters out here because simply there is nothing left to burn. L.A. County Fire did tell me tonight that there are still 3,000 firefighters, Chuck and Colleen, fighting the sand fire. For now, we're live in Santa Clarita, Marin Austin, NBC4 News. Okay, thank you very much, Marin. Now, Fritz Coleman has been tracking the wind, the, the wind that's pushing all of that smoke that impacts people who live nowhere near the fire line. So let's go over to Fritz now. Fritz. All right, Chuck, well, all of the weather elements are as favorable as they've been all day. The temperatures